Now that we have our own website up and running, it's now time to tell Google to start indexing our posts and our web pages. So in the previous videos, I showed you about the top 23 plugins I used for making a mind generating website. Okay, so if you're new to this channel, this is a playlist for how to start a profitable blog that generates money for you 24-7. This is where I teach you how I started my blog, how you can also start yours and everything I know. So in today's video, all I'm going to show you is how we can make our posts and our pages start appearing in Google Sage. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you everything you need to know to rank your first website. So as you can see, this is a, a website. So just a demo one I made a long time ago. My, my main website is keithrens.me. So we're going to rank this website in Google Searches. So let me just copy this link. Uh, let, let's try searching for it in, in Google. we we'll see if it will show up. Yeah, so I'm going to do this. Yeah. Okay, so as you can see, I've searched for the Keith Host website is not coming up. Okay, it's because this website is not yet indexed. Let's try to add those com. We see if it will appear. Okay, so here it is Keith Host dot Web Host. It's appearing. Okay, so how did they make this website appear in Google search? Okay, as you can see, this website is just a demo website. There's no content, but how is it appearing in Google search console or in Google search results? So this is what I'm going to show you today. Okay, but my web, my main website is Keith Rains. Yeah, that's me. This is my main website. Okay. Yeah, you can check it out on your free time and then or two or three things. So now let's get started. So what's needed for us to tell Google to start indexing our posts or to tell Google to start ranking our post? First of all, uh, we have to uh, install a search engine optimization plugin. That's going to help us with the search engine things uh, easy. So to do all that, just go on plugins and click on add new and the plugin i used to rank my post and my pages and so on it's called smart Go. okay i know a lot of people like using yoast but as for me i don't like yoast because um the free features in yoast are limited and they're not good if you want to use yoast plugin i encourage you to get the paid one now if you don't have money to use your still the paid one then don't even dare to install it but go to smart crow smart crow has got all the features for free you don't have to pay anything and like yours because yours the free features it has they are not really that good so click on install and activate the plugin Okay, so now that we've installed this plugin, it's going to help us rank our posts in Google searches and so on. Okay, so maybe in the next videos, I'm going to show you how you can also do the same thing to Bing. Bing, if you don't know what Bing is, a search, it's a search engine by Microsoft. Okay, so now that, so this, now we are here. Okay, so all we need to do is open up a new tab and search for Search Console. Okay, when you search for Search Console, you need to open the first link you are going to see, which is Google Search Console. And you also need to be signed in to your Google account. Then you need to click on Start Now on this button here. okay it's downloading so now what we need to do is you click on the property here on the left bar and you're going to choose add property over here okay
yeah so choose on add property then there are two ways of verifying your website on google search console so google search console this is where we're going to be managing our clicks search appearances and other things i'll make a full tutorial about the google search console and how to make use of it to help you rank your posts and so on so we're not going to go with a domain we're going to go with ul prefix so let's enter this ul for this blog okay copy control plus c to copy okay then i'm going to paste it here and i'm going to click on continue so it's going to ask us to verify if you, you didn't verify okay so to verify just scroll down and you should choose the html tag okay then just click on copy it to be copied to your clipboard when you copy it go to your smart crew and scroll down to advanced tools uh not here i think it's settings okay so when you go to settings scroll down and where it's written google verification then you paste in the the one we copied when you're done scroll down and click on save okay when you're done with this go back to the search console and click on verify so it's going to check if you have done that so as you can see the HTML file is not appearing so we really need to fix this so what can be the problem why is it not found there so you can if this if you are having this error uh you as well all you need to do is reload this page first okay and right click on any page and click on view page source then click uh control plus f okay and paste in the the google verification code you copied okay so as you can see control plus f just a shortcut for finding uh what's here so i'm searching for the google code we pasted to see if it's appearing on our website and yes it is it's here it's appearing on our website but why is google not verifying the integration so let's try again we'll see if this time to work okay let's click on view uh sorry i made the mistake yeah we need to go here and click on verify yeah okay so ownership has been verified we are done with the first step in telling google that hi google we have a website we want you to start ranking our post so what's the second thing we need to do the second thing if we want our post to start appearing in google search console we need to submit our sitemap okay so we need to submit our sitemap so to, to do that we need to click on sitemaps and add one so let's just, let us generate a sitemap with smart grow in wordpress so to do that scroll down and click on smart map and scroll down so as you can see we are told that your sitemap is available at here so i'm going to open this in your tab okay it's loading so this is our site map and has got 23 our uh, web pages so to submit the site map we need to copy out this part here and we'll submit it here paste okay it's now submitting okay 
Okay, there's an error. Okay, it has been submitted successfully. Uh, let me just reload the page and see if it has been updated. Okay, success. So as you can see, we have submitted the site map. So a site map is just a file which has got links to our post or pages telling Google that uh, should index and rank them and so on. So we have done our part in ranking the post. So now all we need to do is give Google like three days or so. We hope that to start appearing in search consoles. Okay, it might take some time. We really need to be patient. So as you can see, 23 years have been discovered. So Google will start indexing them from now. So this is how you rank your face your first or your new website in Google search. So in the next video, I'm going to do a full search engine optimization tutorial. It's going to take some time and it's going to be long. So make sure that you subscribe and like and comment on this video so that you don't get to miss it when I upload it. So this is how you upload your sitemap, uh, verify a Google search integration, and that's it. So you've done the first part in ranking your posts. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you like and subscribe to support me. And bye for now. If you have any other questions, feel free to comment. Yep.